They appear to be incredibly complicated pieces of equipment, and in essence, they are. We're talking about coil over shocks, but when you break them down into each individual component and understand what it does, well, the mystery is removed. They have become a staple in the off-road industry, from rock crawlers, daily driven dual purpose Jeeps, to serious off-road race rigs. Coilover shocks have a very important job to do. Not only does the coilover support the vehicle weight by acting as the suspension spring retaining device, it is also the dampener in the system, controlling both the jounce and rebound. But more than that, they are a completely tunable piece of equipment designed to improve the vehicle's ability off-road. But what does each part of a coilover shock do? Well, each one has a very specific job, and it starts with the uniball. At each end of a coilover shock, there are uniballs that act as the shock mount. They are the same basic design as a suspension rod end. They allow the shock mount to pivot and twist during the suspension cycle. The bottom spring mount sits on the aluminum housing that holds the uniball. This item is removable to get the coilover spring off of the shock. Some shocks have a jounce bumper on the shaft. Now, this is not a bump stop, but more of a safety device to keep the valve stack from bottoming out inside the shock. The shock shaft is hardened steel and sometimes coated to reduce friction. This machined surface needs to be protected during any fab work on your rig. A small nick or burn from weld spatter can cause the shock to fail prematurely. Long distance off-road cars like Ultra 4s or SCORE Desert Racers often run shock bags to protect the shaft from becoming sandblasted during a race. The body of the shock is where the business happens. Inside is the shock oil and the valves that are attached to the shock shaft. That is what dampens the suspension movement. The body is also threaded and has adjuster nuts on it. Now the adjuster nuts have two jobs. They're not only there to set the ride height on the rig, they can also add what's called preload to your suspension system or extra pressure onto the coil spring when it's at rest. That just helps the suspension droop out a little bit faster.